2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Trinity Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside PGA champion Rich Beam, where in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Happy to be with you. Pleased to be here at Timber Knoll Golf Club here in North Carolina. This is a uh, fantastic swath of land they've built this course on, and I think it's going to be a day of fun. Let's do this. like it came out of a cannon. <laughs> Time for the second shot into the first. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Just six feet between here and the hole. Nice start. Yeah, you got to love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Going with the five wood. Well, this one's right at the pin. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Solid power putt, that. John, what's going on out there? 
going down here on the third hole, guys. This is Gary Woodland's next one. And uh, about 27 feet to go here. Looking really good. He's made it for Eagle. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par, chance to pipe one up the middle. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the three wood. Nicely done. Might well, be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. So close. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And well hold. Let's move on. At minus two, going along nicely today. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. We've arrived at a par four hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the fourth. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. John, do you have any info down there? I am on the sixth hole now, guys. This is Kevin Kisner. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down? Yeah. 
And what a touch of class. Holds it from the sand. And back to the course with the live action. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt coming up for his par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Now it's heading for the fairway. around 180 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? If he makes this, he'll save his par. Putt is underway. Oh, that looks like a pure strike. Current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And we've arrived at a par three. Looks to be going with the five iron.
It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And coming up well short. Playing their fifth shot. Oh, wow, Rich. How good was that? And a chip in, Luke. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's get back to it, shall we? Sitting at two under par. That's amazing. Oh, here he comes into the top 10 with a bolt. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. He's currently tied for seventh. This, the cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Playing their fourth shot. That goes down for an eagle. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here on the seventh. Interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Just three back from the leader. Good shot there. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under.
this one's dialed in. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Handy effort, that one. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That was wonderfully done. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, we're down here on the ninth hole. Take a look at Gary Woodland. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Oh, this would be a good putt to make. And with it, a share of third spot. Get excited, this could go in. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This one might just sneak off the fairway. This shot from the first cut of rough. Lovely effort, that. A good chance to move to six under par here.
It's up, it could be in. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to six under. This is an exciting position, isn't it, Rich? Time for the lead as we enter the back nine. Yeah, you always want to be up or in the lead going in the final nine holes. That's what they practice for. That's what they want to be. They want to be in this position. Let's see how it all plays out. Here we are in front of a par three. Opting for the five wood. Oh, well done. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Steady now. Putting for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm following Kevin Kisner at the moment. He's on number 12. And this putt's for par. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. To the top five he goes. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. And after a putt at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Well played, mate. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Going with the pitching wedge here. I shot that. That should find the surface. <laughs> Left yourself an opportunity. Eighteen feet to the cup. Oh, 
I like the look of this. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. And that will take him to seven under. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Here's some action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Money up for his third now. Oh, a little trickery, no doubt about it. An absolute beauty here. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Opting for the five iron. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. And here we are with the third shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This putt's looking right around 28 feet, I'd say. great now and down she goes from outside the range that shot so good we need to have another look and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard.
Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Going with the five iron here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Outside chance here for the birdie. Sitting at three under par. Currently tied for ninth. And that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. And back to the course with the live action. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This putt looks to be 33 feet to the cup. Get in. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. And that will take him to eight under. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a stroke. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Well struck. This putt is 16 feet to the hole. This one's tracking. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Still in the lead now after that hole. The 
honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Eight under for the day. Currently leading. Cutting for birdie. Go on, get in the hole. And down it goes. And now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. And after that hole, you've built a two shot buffer over Patrick Cantlay. Three holes remaining, this is what it's all about. Time to see who is gonna get it done. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down to the 18th hole right now, and this is Kevin Kisner's next shot. A fair bit on the line here. A spot the top five. Big chance here. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 16th.
Come on, get down. Well, a little off the target with that one. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. How close was that to going down? Five feet coming up to the cup. One started out on a good line. And there it is. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? We find ourselves on a par three here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Quality shot, that one. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. This one's looking good. And in it goes for the par. He's currently sitting in first place. This is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck.
Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. It's all come down to this. A putt for the title. This one has eyes for the hole. Sometimes you've just got to stand up and applaud, and that's the occasion right now. This is as good as it gets. i got to say, and a massive trophy to match as well. Happy days ahead for this player. It is a good start to the rest of their career. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.